During August and September, swarms of monarchs begin their fall migration to warmer southern lands. On their flights, monarchs often use trees and bushes as overnight roosting sites. During the peak of migration, monarchs cling to the branches of a roost by the thousands. Spring migration usually begins in the last week of February. During their long flight, the monarchs feed on the nectar of spring flowers and females lay their eggs on milkweed plants. After mating, the female alights momentarily on a milkweed plant and deposits a single egg. In three to five days, the larva, or caterpillar, hatches. The larva feeds only on milkweed leaves and grows quickly. As it crawls about, the caterpillar spins from its mouth a sticky thread of silk which adheres to the plant. The caterpillar holds on to the silk track with the help of small hooks on its prolegs, five pairs of fleshy projections on its abdomen. As it nears full growth, the caterpillar's appetite increases tremendously. It consumes enormous quantities of food in a relatively short period of time. When the larva reaches full development, it stops eating and begins to search for a resting place where it will change from the larval to the pupal stage. It begins to spin a layer of silk on the surface of the support. Slowly, it weaves the silk into a kind of button. The caterpillar then reverses its position and grasps the silk button with its last pair of prolegs. The spines of the prolegs become entangled in the silk mat, and the caterpillar suspends itself in an inverted position, clinging to the silk button. Within 8 to 12 hours, the larva begins to swell. The skin splits just above the head. As the swelling continues, the skin is pushed toward the posterior end of the body. Next, a dark, horny barb called the cremaster is pulled from inside the larval skin and is pressed firmly into the silk button. The pupa gyrates and eventually the larval skin drops away. Slowly, the pupa case becomes firmer and smoother. Gradually, the pupa within takes on a dark green color. Soon, however, the orange and black markings of the adult monarch appear through the transparent pupal skin. Finally, the pupa case splits open. Metamorphosis is complete. The monarch emerges a helpless creature. Its soft, limp wings cannot support flight. As it dries in the air, the butterfly pumps body fluid into its wings. With each pumping action, the wings move back and forth. After a few hours, the monarch is dry. With wings stiffened by the hardening of the fluid, it is ready for flight. <laughs>